All right. We got the sun setting. You can look up and down the street real quick. I had to wait for this other realtor to step out and let me in. Um, as far as location, this is going to be the best one that we've looked at so far. Um, it's just on the uh, west side of the 215, very close to uh, Summerlin, but you do have the ring doorbell. It's kind of cool. You can switch out that main plate. Put Patty and Alex on there. All right. Well, at least it smells good in here. Okay, so this is what you see when you walk in. It's semi-vaulted as well. Um, carpet looks decent. Not brand new, but it's nice. You have a little bit of a touch-up paint. I don't know if you can see that across the ceiling. Uh, probably some a former leak or something that they had to repair. So this is kind of nice how it's kind of long and open to the kitchen. Kind of talked about this in the, on the phone call. I mean, it's pretty pretty standard in here. Nothing's really been upgraded. You, you do have recessed lighting throughout. Uh, and then of course the semi-vaulted is kind of nice. Makes it feel a little bit bigger. But a lot of space here in the kitchen. Good. So it looks like it might just need a little bit of updating. Put some planters and stuff up there. Looks like most of the lights are gonna be on remotes here. Uh, you do have a fireplace and then, I don't know if you'd put your TV in there or put it up top right here, but you do have the jackets inside there. I guess a lot of, uh, a lot of options there. So yeah, pretty open. Plenty of sunlight. Let's check out the backyard. This is a single story, I believe. Oh, let's see. Missing something here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so pretty private. Um, I mean, we can always plant a little bit of grass back here. Put some fake turf down if you wanted to, but you can you can make this look pretty nice back here. Oops, oops, there we go, sorry. Do have some solar screens back here, plenty of shade back here as well. Fill that up. This guy's got some Massive solar panels up there. Okay, let's back up here. As you're walking to the back, you do have these ledges up top. You can put some stuff up there, some planters maybe, whatever you want. But uh, you got two bedrooms right here, and then the master is going to be to the left. Let's start with the master. Now, I don't know. The electricity's on, but I think there's a remote. Yeah, there's a remote over here. So, there we go. I do have a small walk in. Fairly small walk-in, but you do have the high ceilings in here as well, semi-vaulted, it's kind of nice. And then of course the bathroom is open. There we go. And then you have another walk-in closet inside the bathroom as well. It looks to be about the same size 
as the other one. And it's carpeted as well. Okay, and then your bathroom. Okay, and then we're gonna check out the two guest rooms. As you come out, one directly to the left. Decent size, semi-vaulted as well. And then a small, not really a walk-in, but it's a, it's a deeper one, deeper than we usually see. A two panel slider. And you have a, he's gotta switch out the batteries on that guy. Okay, and then linen closet. Second guest room, about the same size, side by side. Same semi-vaulted ceilings. And the exact same closet. This one actually is a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, about the same depth. All right, the shared bathroom. Upgraded shower fixture there. Let's adjust that, move it around however you want. Everything looks pretty clean. They did a good job cleaning the place. It's just a little outdated, that's all. Um, other than that, it looks like it's been taken pretty good care of. Okay, this should be a washer dryer. Here. Uh, Attic entrance. Sorry. Check out the garage. Find the light. There we go. All right. Uh, this is actually a little bit of an oversized two car garage. You can see how it extends out a little bit on the left and right. So, a little bit bigger. Got a little bit of trash in here. You can throw that out. Extra tile and stuff. Tile for the roof as well. I'm assuming this fridge would stay if you guys want it. We can probably get them to take it out if you don't want it. But uh, garage door looks pretty pretty new. The door looks pretty new actually. That looks pretty good. And you got a pretty big water tank as well. That looks fairly new as well. Okay. I think that's it for the house. Let me hit all the lights real quick. There we go. One last look. The ceilings, the bedrooms, the master. Turn off these lights. It definitely feels a little bigger than what it is. It's because the ceilings are so high. All right, so it's evening, the sun's setting, literally setting over here in this direction. So the sun's gonna come up on the front of the house. During the heat of the day, you get a little bit of sun in the backyard, but there's a lot of shade back there as well. These are gonna be the coat closets. That's a linen closet. Might, might use that, actually, that's not a linen closet, that's probably the pantry, and then the coat closet. The linen, <clears throat> excuse me, the linen closet's in the, um, in the hallway over there. All right, there we go. I'll do a quick video of the way, on the way out, so you can kind of see where we're at, but like I said, as far as location, this is gonna be, out of everything that we've looked at, personally, um, I think this is going to be the best location so far. Uh, the one I just showed you, the other video, um, it's not too bad at all. But this is in a good spot. You're really close to everything. It's right in the outskirts of Summerlin. Pretty nice little neighborhood.